Duck Product Part 2. Let's start off reminding ourselves of the definition of dot product. Given two non-zero vectors u and v, their dot product is the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v times the cosine of the angle between the two vectors. Recall that dot product is a scalar value. And that we have a handy little formula for calculating the dot product if we have the components of u and v. Combining the definition of dot product with this way of calculating the dot product, we can find the angle between the two vectors. Find the angle between these two vectors. We will compute u dot v and we will compute the magnitude of u and the magnitude of v. Then we will find the ratio u dot v divided by the product of the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v. From there we will find theta. u dot v is equal to 2 radical 3. The magnitude of u is equal to 2. The magnitude of v is equal to 2. So it must be true that the cosine of theta is equal to radical 3 over 2. What angle between 0 and pi has a cosine of radical 3 over 2? There is only one angle between 0 and pi whose cosine is equal to radical 3 over 2, and that angle is pi over 6. Recall that we began the conversation of dot product by observing that work is equal to the magnitude of the force times the magnitude of the displacement times the cosine of the angle between force and displacement. Given this force, which moves an object from point P to point Q, what is the work done by the force? The displacement vector is 5, 5, 0 meters. So 5 meters, 5 meters, 0. Work will be the dot product of the force vector in newtons, that, dot, that dotted with the displacement vector in meters. And work is 30 joules. What is the angle between F and D? The angle between F and D satisfies the formula that the cosine of theta must equal the dot product of F with D, which is 30, divided by the product of the magnitude of F, which is radical 22, times the magnitude of D, which is 50, uh, excuse me, radical 50. So we have cosine of theta is equal to that ratio. To find theta, we would use our calculator or some other software device. And you do want to be careful uh, in how you input um, that ratio. I would suggest you practice with this example until you can um, correctly get 0.44 radians or 25 degrees. Note that only the component of the force F in the direction of D contributes to the work. So the, compo so the component of F working to move the object from P to Q is the magnitude of F times the cosine of the angle, so about 4.2 newtons. This discussion motivates two definitions. If 
v is a non-zero vector. The scalar component of u in the direction of v is equal to the magnitude of u times the cosine of the angle between u and v. And this scalar component of u in the direction of v can be found by finding the dot product of u dot v and dividing by the magnitude of v. The orthogonal projection of u onto v is the vector, uh, which is the scalar component of u in the direction of v times the unit, dire unit vector uh, in the direction of v. Another way of saying that um, is that the projection of u onto v is equal to the magnitude of u times the cosine of the angle times the unit vector in the direction of v. The projection of u onto v can be calculated using this formula. Might be a little bit easier if you use the formula. Notice that if theta is between 0 and pi over 2, the projection of u in the direction of uh, uh, v, I'm sorry, the projection of u onto the vector v will point in the direction of v. If theta is between pi over 2 and pi, then the projection of u onto v points in the negative direction of v. So just a little reminder, uh, scalar value of u onto v, that's a scalar, scalar uh, value. Uh, the projection of u onto v, that's a vector. So let's, uh, let's do an example. So let u be uh, the vector 4, 1. Let v be the vector 3, 4. Let's find the scalar component of u onto v and the uh, projection of u onto v. So we will use the formula um, that the scalar component of u onto v is equal to the dot product of u dot v divided by the magnitude of v. Then the projection of u onto v will be this, that scalar value times the unit vector in the direction of v. So the magnitude of v is equal to 5. The scalar component of u in the direction of v is equal to 16 over 5. And then the projection of u onto v is equal to uh, the, um, 16 over 25 times the vector 3, 4. So a reminder, the projection of u onto v, that's a vector pointing either in the direction of u or in the negative direction of, I'm sorry, either in the direction of v or the negative direction of v. And then the scalar component is really just its length. All right, take care and uh, I will see you in 12.4.